what makes a T-38 a unique plane to fly? Well, the T-38 for an Air Force guy is our, is our primary trainer in the pilot training. So first we start off on T-37s and then we, we uh, graduate to the T-38, which is a high speed supersonic uh, trainer. You, you go supersonic once on your first your dollar ride, but they call it on the 38 and you never pretty much do it ever, ever again. But it's just a fast, it's a fast moving airplane. It's uh, fun to fly. It's, you just, you just wrap it around you like, like, uh, and you're just in crawl. It, it, it's, it's such a maneuvering, maneuverable airplane. It's so quick and so, so responsive. Um, a guy in my group was Lacey Beach, uh, who has since passed away, but he was a former Thunderbird uh, he was solo, one of the two opposing solos in the Thunderbirds when they flew T-38s. Now, Lacey was a mission specialist and he was no longer in the service, so he had no requirements to keep his flight time up to current. So they, once he became a mission specialist for NASA, they they didn't they took away his ability to to, to be front seat in the T thirty eight. So the only way he flew was in the back in the, in the back seat of a T thirty eight, which is kind of you know is a shame because he's such a qualified and, and talented pilot. So I would t- I took him up a couple of times and I said, okay, Lacey, show me your show me the Thunderbird stuff. You know, we go out over the Gulf of Mexico in our, in our training area and we go up and do some aerobatics and he he take me through some eight point rolls and I've never seen such an airplane move so crisply and so violently. I mean, you know, when you see it outside doing it's this 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 and holding a perfectly straight line, that looks all well and good. But when you're in the cockpit, watch the stick going around and rudders moving, everything's going on. And he's keeping that airplane pointed right nose straight. I mean, it doesn't vary a foot in altitude. It was, it was <laughs> worried to me to watch that, but it was a fun plane to fly. It was, a, uh, it had a travel pod. You could uh, travel around the country and, and we used it to go to meetings. Uh, we were required to get a certain amount of time per, per month. Uh, and, you know, it, the reason we used the T-38 was because it, it landed. So it, it was one of the airplanes that landed at the higher speeds uh, the shuttle lands at such a high speed, faster than any other airplane we've ever flown. We flow, fly. It lands at 195 knots. The T-38 touches down at about 130 knots. So it's already 65 knots different. But the T-38 is faster than most of the other fighters or other trainers that were around. So it helped us keep our, our high speed reaction time and, and training uh, uh, skills up with that. So, um, you know, I had it. it uh, you could go about an hour and a half range and I could fly. From, my parents lived in Florida down near the Cape. Uh, down Palm Beach at West Palm, and I I could fly there in one hop uh, and go visit them on a weekend if I needed some time. So I uh, you know, take off out of Ellington and, and land at uh, Patrick or land at the, the uh, shuttle landing facility called X-ray 68. But the, the the runway right there, you know, right there at Kennedy, they had fifteen thousand foot runway, uh, and uh, you know, and then you, you go you go play golf. I, I took it. Well, uh, one time to go up to Colorado Springs, park it for a couple of days, and went skiing with some buddies. Mike. So, you know, when you when you've got to get your time, you haven't been able to do it during the week and stuff, and you, you still got two or three hours to go on the airplane. They, you know, just call up, and if they've got one available, you just jump in it and take it and fly it three or four hours uh, over the weekend to, uh, for cross country. And you, you know, no, nobody says you can't enjoy the time while you're while you're doing it. So, we would take it and go places and visit people and, and uh, enjoy ourselves. But yeah, most most of the time was used to go to meetings, go to training, and fly back and forth to El Paso for uh, uh, for the Gulfstream training that, that we did, the, the SDA, the, the shuttle training aircraft, um, and back and forth to Edwards for some training there. So it was pretty much back and forth to El Paso, to Edwards, to to uh, the Cape, uh, up to uh, Navy Moffett, which is where we had another trainer, a simulator we used for, for approach and landing training and engineering uh, development. So, uh, But it was a great little airplane, went fast, got there quick, uh, no frills. Uh, being a fighter pilot is I was still keeping up my fighter pilot skills. So I go out and do all the acrobatics, aerobatics I wanted to do. If I got, you know, just felt like I need to go out and pull some G's sometimes. <laughs> so it was kind of nice. But, 